Hello, Lavon here. Welcome back to my channel and to Step by Step, our weekly program where we take something like, for instance, this space that's been unused for or used just for storage and create a dressing room out of it. So the first step was to clear it out. And then there was an old furnace and we just had this piece of glass in front of it that we had taken off a cabinet. There was the radiator and of course everything was this lovely shade of pink so the first step was to get in there with some paint and i think i used driftwood from dixie bell and just gave everything a nice coat of paint to freshen it up and then i got to work on that mirror well that piece of glass creating a mirror out of it so first of all it was a challenge for me to get it out of there but that's another story um, and I used a sprayer bottle with half and half vinegar and water and then I used uh, mirror finish from Krylon I believe or else it's looking glass spray paint one or the other either one will work and I just kind of gave it a large uh, overall random first coat and I wasn't looking for complete coverage on this coat because I'm making a distressed mirror. So uh, you build that up sort of in layers. But the first coat is definitely um, just spraying over the 50-50 mix of white vinegar and water. What the vinegar and water mixture does is create beads on the glass and then that resists the paint. So it gives you that doppled look that an old mirror has. So you can see from the lights shining on it that it's pretty reflective. So I'm going in with a second coat. And this stuff dries pretty quickly. When you spray it, you'll see it get kind of um, almost a frosted appearance. It's really cool to work with and of course you want to work in a well ventilated area you can see in the reflection the little beads of water that are resisting the paint I think I used two cans for this project which isn't too bad because the mirror was pretty big calling it a mirror but it's a piece of glass it was maybe four feet wide by six feet high approximately again you can see that shine <laughs> you can see that mirror finish building up You can use this technique on old windows. I've done it before, um, just on picture frame glass. Then this step is pretty cool, but then the next step is what really brings it to life in my estimation. You can coat the back after it's dry with a dark color so you can see how reflective it is or you can come in like I did in this project I used steel magnolia uh, moonshine metallics from Dixie Bell and I just randomly painted all over the back kind of concentrated it in areas that I didn't see much um, of the the spray paint and then just coated the, the entire piece so again it was really fun getting the large piece of glass by myself back in place but you know sometimes I do wonders when I'm by myself and my guardian angels with me I pray a lot when I'm working by myself you know, because sometimes I do things that, you know, could go wrong, but 
I try to be very safe and I always um, pray. <laughs> And I've had a few close calls. My dad was always one for taking precautions and being safe. And I think, I think I always listen to his words in my ear before I do something that's a little risky. Okay, now I'm having some fun with a hula hoop. Why not take a break? Actually, I'm cutting it in half and I'm using it for an unconventional purpose. I'm going to use it as sort of a drapery rod. So, <laughs> I'm looking for all those little beads that make noise. I'm using a pair of heavy duty scissors and it's not too difficult to cut through this, but it's a little more challenging than you would think. As you can tell by the look on my face. <laughs> I'll just leave that right there. Huh, <laughs> in <And> relief. And <laughs> what are you gonna do? So now I am just looping or snaking the, the drape on there. They're just um, grommet uh, rod draperies. And I had already put a pipe strap in there that I'm connecting one end to. And the other end, I'm just resting on top of that monstrous furniture, or furnace, rather. So there it is in place, and the furnace is still there, doesn't have the piece of glass on yet. On the opposite side, I installed some doors and I put a real mirror on top of that and also attached um, an over the door hook. Now the mirror's in place and I have some other work that I wanna do for accessories. I took an old lamp that was like violet in color and I used the Moonshine Metallics in Caribbean. I took an old piano bench and again, use the Moonshine Metallics in the Steel Magnolia. I just love that color. And painted both of those pieces. This uh, decor piece I did on one of my Tuesday Talk uh, shows. And then the rest of the curtains are just drop cloth. And then I did get um, a little fuzzy pillow and also a nice carpet uh, to put in the room as well. So I think it turned out pretty nice for a little unused space um, just thing a place to pile things in so I'm pretty pleased with the space so it's the dressing room in our new store so you'll have to stop by at 1410 11th Avenue and visit we have all kinds of wonderful things happening gearing up for our really grand reopening Very nice place to change your clothes. <laughs> and there's your privacy. I want to thank you so much as always for joining me for Step by Step. Please come back next week and on Tuesday at Tuesday Talk. LaVintageDecor.company is the name of the website. And also on Instagram, you'll find us at LaVintageDecor. And on Facebook, we're LaVintageDecor Altoona. Stay well. <laughs>